All right, uh, today I'm going to show you how I configured a local DNS server in GNS3. So I actually used uh, DNS mask Daco here. So, here. so what I did, I downloaded uh, a, this uh, DNS mask. It's uh, free from uh, DNS3.com. And it's a marketplace and I think appliance. So yeah. Um, so I just uh, uh, created this uh, topology here, and I added this uh, an app cloud for these devices to get to the internet, and also, I mean, when I say devices, this R1 and R2 and uh, DNS, DNS server. <clears throat> so, yeah, and <clears throat> this is uh, the uh, DNS mask uh, DACO here. I just named it uh, DNS server. So, yeah, I'm gonna show you the configuration or the uh, procedure that uh, I did. Uh, so I just uh, configured uh, the uh, Eastern at zero on the uh, TNS server. So here. <clears throat> uh, so let me actually show you how you can check this in the TNS server. So console. So I'm just going to do cat. So here, this is what I did. I just uh, uncommented the uh, this part here. So this is the IP address on the uh, that I con that I configured on the on that port, and this is the net mask. <clears throat> this is the IP address of the. Uh, not cloud, as you can see, as you can see here, and also this is the uh, IP address. So, yeah, that's what I did on that uh, on the Ethernet zero. I just uh, configured it with an with a static IP address, and this is how you actually. Uh, configure the mapping of the IP addresses in the uh, fully qualified names. Uh, yeah, uh, this is what they call fully qualified names. So r1.lab, r2.lab, and this is just the short names r1 and r2. So uh, this is r1, uh, obviously, and this is r2. So yeah, and so basically, this is the uh, the IP address on on this interface here on R1, and this is the IP address on this interface here on R2. So yeah, let me show you how you can double check that uh, configuration or. You can configure that uh, settings on the uh, TNS server. So if you want to, uh, by the way, if you want to just uh, edit this uh, the configuration and that uh, is run zero, you can just do that command nano, and you can edit the commands here or the uh, settings. So I'm gonna exit out. Um, that and I'm gonna do this. So nano um, Etsy or slash Etsy slash hosts. Like I said, this is um, being edited by root. Okay, so this is what I did here. <clears throat> so the mapping of the IP addresses, like I said earlier. And the fully qualified names and short names here. 
just uh, went ahead and saved it. Uh, so I'm going to exit out from this. So, yeah. Um, step two, I uh, configured the uh, two routers. So in this case, R1 and R2. So, <coughs> so this is the, let me go ahead and oops, uh, that uh, window open. I mean, that's, uh, I got a, I got console connection to R1 open. So I'm going to just show you the configuration of the interface. So here, so let me do this command. So, so yeah, that's the IP address, um, and that 10. <clears throat> and basically I just uh, uh, did these commands here. Uh, I didn't, these are all, uh, configured by default and also IP domain lookup is should be configured by default but uh, I went ahead and <coughs> typed it anyway and this is how you can uh, configure the TNS uh, I mean specify the TNS uh, IP address on the uh, router so let me go ahead and show that to you main yeah and I configured this uh, default route for that uh, uh, device to get to the internet. So let me show that to you also. Yeah. And if I do a show IP route, you can see that I have a default route <coughs> now pointing to this, uh, pointing to the night, uh, net cloud. So yeah, so it's uh, pretty much the same uh, configuration on R2. So uh, I guess the, uh, the IP address is different, right? Uh, the only difference is the IP address here, that 11, and on R1, that's uh, 10. So yeah, um, step three, uh, basically, um, uh, once you configured all these uh, commands here, uh, you're done with the configuration. And you can verify your configuration by doing, by pinging a couple of websites from the routers and also from the TNS server. So I'm gonna go ahead and ping Google from Power One and see if it's, and see if the uh, t local TNS uh, will resol resolve that uh, domain name into IP address. So it looks like um, it uh, resolves that uh, domain name. So you can see that this is the uh, local TNS IP address. So here. And by the way, if you want to verify the IP address on the uh, that uh, Ethernet zero port, you can do this. So Ethernet uh, port, you can do this command, I have config, and this is the IP address, submit mask. So, yeah, um, looks like uh, that ping works and let me do Cisco yeah it works also and I can I, I will actually go ahead and ping R2 the uh, short name so the, the uh, short name uh, got resolved uh, by this local DNS server and I'm going to go to R2 and ping R1.lab. Uh, this is the 
fully qualified domain name. Let's see if I can bring it. Yeah, I can bring it. So yeah, looks like uh, everything is working. So I've got a troubleshooting command here, just in case uh, you're you ping a domain name or uh, sorry, a uh, fully qualified name and it's not working. You can just uh, uh, issue this command on the uh, on the DNS server, a uh, service uh, DNS mass restart. So basically, you are restarting the service on the DNS server. So what else can we test here? So actually, when I ping Google or I'm gonna go ahead and ping. Uh, how about uh, Yahoo? So yeah, yeah, it got resolved by this uh, local DNS server. So no, here. So the the uh, DNS server doesn't have that uh, uh, this entry on doesn't have this entry, right? We didn't configure this on that uh, DNS local uh, and that's a local DNS server. So basically what uh, the DNS uh, did was it forwarded it to the NAT cloud and the uh, NAT cloud can get to the internet and the uh, resolution uh, got done from the uh, internet. So, yeah, that's how you. That's how I. That's how I configured a, a local DNS server in DNS three. So, yep, that's it in this video. Thanks for watching.